be a quick video um less long um yeah well nick's made uh, the modern mystics made a couple of really stupid videos in my opinion um i'm really i really i think i'll dislike him this week i think he'll be on my dislike list um you know he's all kind of happy and full of himself in this it just it was a silly a silly way a silly way to, discru to discuss the word accountability it's a silly context and the last video we made was just I don't know it's just idiotic all right so this is phrase that we're all familiar with um, if everyone else was doing it would you do it too you know and he says it doesn't make any sense it makes perfect sense I mean it's really it's merely stating um, are you only doing it because of everyone else is doing it or are you doing it because you think it's a right thing to do or a smart thing to do or a reasonable thing to do and then in his video he's describing that very process of thinking the the whole point of the phrase is to point out that you shouldn't do things without thinking you shouldn't do them just because everybody's waiting in a line you shouldn't get in the line because it might be the line to have your brain smashed um, and it's, it's just it's a simple statement of caution and principle that you know you just don't do something you think before you do something um, you know and he's, he's sort of saying that to argument with free will that yeah yeah we agree there's no free will and but he's discounting logic now he's saying there's no such thing as logic or logic doesn't matter and it's, it's, it's of course it does so anyway back to the accountability thing accountability isn't about um, punishment or um, it, about um, even punishments not about punishment I mean we call it that um, but the intent the usefulness of it has nothing to do with punishment I mean of course there's individuals who enjoy it there's sadistic fuckers in the world who see a point in it and there's people interested in revenge and they're that's a futile pursuit um, but the end result is is even with those people with those stupid goals those stupid ambitions or that stupid expectation that they can somehow extract what has been lost by imposing more negative like the eye for an eye kind of philosophy the end result is though that it imposes this thing called accountability and by imposing the accountability you create what's called a deterrence <laughs> so I mean if, if there was only one criminal who ever commits a crime in the world what we could say oh hell we don't need a law and we don't need to really punish him we can just call him fucktarded and we'll just make sure he can't do it again you know we'll have somebody watch him or we'll cage him or we'll do something with him and say okay don't do that no more and it won't be a problem because we don't have to deter anybody else from doing it because he was the only person that ever did it but that's not how the world works um, there's not just one thief in the world or one murderer or one anything so every time you subject a murderer or a thief or a, a bad person or an asshole to some accountability for their act you just recognize their action as assholeness um, and you you impose on them some sort of negative thing that's generally thought of as negative then you've now created deterrence you've now preventing another crime because now those other people will not be committing who won't be committing a crime just because everybody else is doing it because they're thinking about it and as they're thinking about committing the crime and gaining the selfish gain or extracting the um the you know being being exploitive or evil or nasty or shitty um well now they're going to think about it and say okay there's a penalty i might pay for it there's a way i might get harmed and that's going to deter them so it really isn't that complicated it's not accountability isn't isn't anything more than recognizing i mean for some people all you'd have to do is put a rubber stamp on them that said jackass and they're going to be deterred from ever doing it again because they don't want to have us the word jackass printed on their head um, and so as an individual they would be deterred and then if other people saw somebody with jackass written on their head they'd say well yeah I'd like to avoid having jackass printed on my head so I, I'm, I'm going to find out what he did and then I'm not going to do that um, so logic has everything to do about it, do do with it, and we don't need free will to be logical machines. Computers are logic-based machines. That's what we use. Our brain is intended. It's been created to do logic. It hasn't been created to be a fucktard and an asshole. All right. I mean, the, the, fucking bugs have some logic built into them. Um,
you know, any conscious mammal has logic. I mean, you know, they might not be right all the time. They might not do exactly, uh, they might do stupid things. Their logic might not be up to snuff because they don't have enough information to make it good. Uh, but they are generally, they're doing logical things based on their experience and based on the minimal programming of, of what works and what doesn't that they've been provided. And so, whatever, just a, a stupid conversation, um, you know, and then trying to apportion guilt in the, the Macbeth scenario where there's 17 parties, well, four, um, you know, or five, guilty of um, provoking or creating the circumstances that create a crime. I mean, obviously, they're all, all those parties share some portion of guilt, and if you want to sit there and figure out what percentage each party has for the for for creating the, the circumstance you can do that I mean you know it might be a good way to waste some time um, but I don't know whether there's any point and it's also going to be a very hard to um, you know come up with some sort of objective answer to that question because it would have to be based on what you what you can expect from a human being and how exactly malicious the thoughts were I mean that's how we evaluate the 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 horror of a crime or the extent of the accountability we're going to impose on somebody it usually has to do with their capacity to know better um, and with how much evil or nasty or selfish volition they commit the crime um, you know so how bad their programming is but accountability is just recognizing brokenness that's pretty much all it's doing it's just saying you're fucking broken you're not functioning properly. You're a mess, okay? And um, if we, ha you know, if there's a threat that you're going to be a mess some more, well, then we'll put you in a cage. And and if there's a threat that other people are going to think your kind of behavior, your messy, broken behavior, is a good idea, well, then maybe we're going to shave your head and shove a stick up your ass or do something else. So all those assholes will see they don't want to be a fucking broken piece of shit. That they want to function properly. So anyway, that this really isn't that complicated. It really hasn't, you know, accountability has nothing to do with free will. Really, it really doesn't. You don't have to have a free will to be accountable for being an asshole. You can still be an asshole without having free will. You can still be a useless piece of shit. You can still be uh, an unproductive, nasty, broken piece of crap. You can still be dysfunctional, whatever the negative word you want to use for somebody who is a detriment rather than an asset to society. You can still be that without having free will. And you can still, it is still um, reasonable to do something about your brokenness. It would be idiotic for society to say, well, nothing we can do, he's just broken. <laughs> That's not good enough. Um, you know, Frankenstein, it wasn't his fault he was Frankenstein, right? I mean, the monster, okay? Not Frankenstein, the doctor. So, yeah, we don't, well, can't blame him, right? But you'd, you'd stop him. You'd say, well, no, you're not going to throw my kid in the water and you're not going to, whatever, beat up the old blind man because you burned your finger. And you're not going to do all this fucking fucktarded shit, okay? You do something to stop him. So, anyway, enough said. God. People, this is not complicated.